And I'm going to talk about, from the very beginning, the original West Side Barbells in Culver City, California. They led the world. Uh, friend, you know, was a world record holder in a hammer throw, 56-pound weight throw. And at 242 in 1970, squatted 854. Had an 816 deadlift. Oh, there's no one could rival that today, I'm sure. So it's all about box squats. That's why I learned how to do it. And, um, but we, we're going to make a short demonstration. Oh, we don't have a box. I'm going to have... Phil here, set on a box, just show you. Don't go, don't go crazy wise. And hey, maybe come around here, Phil. Yeah. And then I'm going to go through why you should box squat. And I want questions. All right. And turn, turn, turn sideways, Sidney. So Say, well, you turn sideways. Yeah. All right, this is how you box squat. It, you use two methods, static overcome by dynamic and relaxed overcome by dynamic. So uh, Phil is a world record holder in the squat. You always squat to slightly below parallel which we don't have the yeah, ability to do this, that yeah, we would never do anything high. It's down. He releases the hips, flexes up. You notice, I mean, just for pure learning how to squat, what's the first thing that happens to Phil? He pushes his buttocks to the rear. No, just do it a little bit, but stop. So that's the first thing that moves. What's the last thing? The head. All right, sit down. Now on the descent. So what's the opposite of descent? Ascent. So what's the first thing to move? The opposite of that, the head. If you push up your feet first, you will roll into a good morning. That's why you see so many people get squ hurt squatting. Box squats, I ruptured my patella tendon when I was 43 years old. I had an 821 squat. I, I wasn't going to live for five years, but uh, I came out of retirement. And when I did, at 52 years old, squat at 920, went to 235. And uh, it was the third greatest squat out there. At all time, it was sixth greatest at 52 years old. And I did it. I was able to train again because of box squats. We took a fellow who had a 749 squat in Florida. It was a 308. Most ever squat 749. Ruptured both patel tendons and the quadricep tendons. They put cadaver tendons in his knees, and he was all depressed. I told him to pull a sled and start jumping on a 2x12 as soon as he could. And then 4 inches and 6. Everything he told him not to do, I told him to do. And in 4 years, he squatted over 1,100 pounds. He started out, in five months he did 500. I said, that's good because that's what I did. But in nine months he came to Columbus, Ohio for the WPO and he says, can I take a workout? I said, yeah, go ahead. He squatted 890. Nine months after ruptured both patel tendons and the quadricep tendons, all from box squatting. That's what, it's the safest method. You know, you want to get the most out of exercises. Don't let them get the most out of you. All right. Questions on this? Anybody want to try it? Because I know you'll come up here and do it wrong. <laughs> yes, sir. So you basically just sit on the box and then... Uh, you sit on, you sit on the box. See, if you, when, when, when Phil sits back, all the muscles are pre-stretched. Just you stick your butt out there pre-stretched. Keep the pressure in your abdominals. Make sure the, the low oblique. And, you're back, and, then, you and then you flex your belly. Boom. You don't do that. That's wrong. Do you have like a free like a pelvic tilt into the squat? You don't roll into it, no. Mm -mm. Back. You gotta lock that back in. Okay. Everything has to be really tight. Hit, uh, okay. Hey, okay, now let's face him. I mean, consider him up here. I can say what I want. I guess. All right, face this way, Fred. I mean, no, Phil, face him. Hey, when you squat, you know, you see all these injuries in, in, in girls' athletics. It's because they don't know how to. They don't know how to squat. Truly, you know, everybody talks about uh, complicated Olympic lifting. Is to this day, I started squatting. I was 14. I'm 59. They tell me how to squat every set. If you don't do something perfect, why do it at all? Every set, I am coached. And I'm coached by people squat over 1,000 and one over 1,100. Every set, I'm coached. You never push your feet down to squat. You push your feet out to the side. By pushing your feet out to the side, you shorten the femur. You also put the pressure here where it belongs. If you push down, you're pushing, putting, and invariably, your knees will go forward. So you're going to put pressure on the patella tendon. But always push your feet out. And if you, uh, you, you don't play football, but if you, if you process, use that process, you'll stand up faster. That's why we use it to squat. So on a line, you'll get up faster. If you're coming out of a cross to throw, you're going to get up faster. And we are talking about a gentleman last night. Wider squats is hips. Hips is what squats. The larger we've seen, the larger leg muscles down around the knee, the worse the, worse the squatters are. Yeah. You have to have the hip. This is what does it all up here. Hips. That's right. Okay. All right, why box squat? One, this is for, think about a lot of sports. It breaks up the eccentric concentric chain. 
When you sit on the box, you relax. When you run, the only thing he's doing is the foot on the ground, right? And also, um, come back over <laughs> And so it breaks up the east. It causes you to go from like a, a fighter doesn't fight like this. Maybe I would, but they're relaxed. So they're relaxed and they could, that way they got speed on their punch. If you tighten up muscles, you have no stretch reflex, correct? All right, that's what this does. And, um, oh, sideways. No, don't go nuts. But you'll notice when he squats, his shin is going to be passed straight up and down. The only way you can get up is literally leg curl yourself up. It's not like people think. For fit, when Phil sits on this, to get up, he has to pull off his heel and literally leg curl himself up. All right? It takes the quadriceps out, and so you do supplemental work with belt squatting, where I talked about last night, belt around your waist, and you squat like that or a lot of sled pulls. But this is the way to get a huge jump, huge sprinting speed, or a huge squat. Okay. Like I said, it, it, it does two things. Static, some of the muscles are static, some are relaxed. So it's static overcome by dynamic and relaxed overcome by dynamic. You know, like me and this gentleman right here, we're in a pushing match. This is static. And all of a sudden he lets go. Boom. I just fly through him. Okay? That's sports. You, 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 uh, you, know, you build up the power in your body and then let it go. All right. Here's another thing. If you train on a 13-inch box that's below parallel, 10,000 squats from now, you broke parallel every time. Everyone that does full squats, as the waist get heavier, they squat higher and higher. You know, to the point that they're doing a half squat. You see this in high school all the time. You have to do full range motions to become strong. If you actually squat high all the time, it'll actually shorten the hip muscles and you won't be able to jump near side. That's been proven in basketball studies overseas. But every squat you do, you'll be able to, you will we'll break parallel if that's what you're after. And like um, Olympic lifters will bounce out of a squat where I have a, a fellow, he's 6'2", he's an 832 deadlifter, not that good a squatter, 9, 940, and they're 275. This is a fellow can jump on a 35-inch box of 70-pound dumbbells. But he's actually squat on a 6-inch box, and you totally relaxed with about a shorter width stance. Okay. And I talked about, um, one thing I want to talk about, get into, is um, we were using a box, and Wilson has studies overseas that the stretch reflex, this, this works for a lot of athletes, will last two to four seconds. Anyone two, highly skilled athletes, four. With the, with the use of a Tendo unit, Dave Tate and I, Dave sat on the box for five seconds. I sat on it for eight and ten. And this is with sub near maximum weight, circa max weights. Uh, I got up at the same speed. Now, it really is a value to football teams um, for long counts because what people think it, would, it will maintain a stretch reflex. Where a full squat will not. If you go down, and a lot of people confuse pause squats with box squats. Totally something different. If you go down a pause, you know, when you, uh, if you do a pause squat, you're, you're not moving. You're not stretching or contracting. All right? So that's a bad thing because no way in the, on sports I ever see is that happening because you rely on stretch reflex. You either switch in this way or switch in this way or switch in that way. Okay? 